Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and our very own giant Mythmaster, <laughs> Mr. Hogan. Anthony, I enjoyed your creation myth today, and I hope you'll enjoy some of my appreciations and some of my suggestions. I really appreciate the fact that you knew this audience. You leveraged the World Series victory, the parade, coming out ready to go, and that created an energy, a positive energy, which I bought into right away. I leaned forward in my seat and couldn't wait for more. But then you came to a little twist. I thought this was going to be a story about the parade. Oh, that's fun. That's nice. And then an act of kindness to a storyteller encouraged the gift of a story, a story of creation, a story within your story of being at that parade. That meta story frame is very powerful, and it got me even more interested as I followed that twist to the story within the story. And what throughout the story you used, clever writing, clever wordplay to take the things of myth and transform them into reality that we experience right now. So much fun, humor, puns, my favorite, all throughout that clever writing is the foundation for a great speech, but your execution made it extremely enjoyable. There's one structural part of your speech that I would suggest to change, and that would be to complete the frame. You start with, oh, hey, here's Frank, a storyteller, and told me a story, and you ended the myth of creation, but we didn't go back to Frank. And I wanted to see Frank's concluding thoughts, or his concluding gift to you, as he left us with a great creation story, which you have retold. So in summary, fantastic energy and emotion at the very beginning, going to the twist of the story within a story, great, fun writing connected to our reality, and a suggestion to complete the frame. But overall, I want to quote one of my favorite communication specialists, Bert Decker. He says, people buy an emotion and justify with fact. And I bought on emotion when you started speaking through to the very end when you said, this Franciscan world, this frank world, is a place of creation and growth. I agree, and I thank you. Madam Toastmaster.